impromptu in B-dur of Franz Schubert, played on a grand piano of the master class. The soul of this instrument harbors a tradition of almost 150 years, formed of the thousand tricks of four generations of craftsmen. to create a harmony of form and sound. A grand piano is an artwork made of 12,000 parts, put together with the exceptional precision and skills of master craftsmen. To produce a top-of-the-line instrument with its unmistakable characteristics, a warm, harmonious sound and a voluminous tone development. Masterfully played a grand piano from the workshop of August Fürstel of Lobo in Saxony. Founded in 1859 by Friedrich August Fürstel. This patent, issued in the name of the King of Saxony, evidences his exceptional enterprising spirit. The respectable manufacturing building around 1862. The director's office already linked to the world with its own company charter of 1872. The work rules, a rare view into the development of industrial history. First, I became purveyor to the courts of Saxony, Spain, Romania, Austria, and Hungary. The business blossomed worldwide as the orders book around 1880 show. Each instrument a unique creation. Here in the basement vault, the drying chambers, the valuable woods are stored here up to three years. The moisture content of the woods in piano construction may not exceed 6%. Looking into the large machine room for woodworking, the virtual birthplace of Farstar uprights and grand pianos. The solid frames are manufactured here, a strong wooden construct designed to give the instrument absolute stability. This cast plate guarantees the necessary rigidity of the piano. The special form, by the way, a Forster patent of 1866, effortlessly withstands the tension of future strings of up to 20 tons. The soundboard is held tightly by clamps, personal tools passed down from the hands of grand and great-grandfathers. The careful forming of the soundboard is one of the secrets of the sound of first or pianos. And look, all this entirely made by hand. From measuring, cutting, chiseling, planing, to the placing of the pins on the bridges and the lacquer work. Veneers selected to satisfy customer desires, reflecting current styling trends of the furniture industry. It takes tons of pressure to press one of these veneers. The housing is then cemented together in the wall forming section. Carefully selected accessories complete the finish of the instruments with wood carvings made by the hands of the artists. After spraying on the polyester, the exterior of the piano is polished to a sheen. The strings are placed as these, the bass strings, to note also produced in-house. Copper wire is wound around the steel core. Only experts can do this. Placing the strings too is a learned skill. The action and hammerheads are installed. That is the entire mechanics, including the claviature. This too, an unmistakable technology of Fursta, developed and refined over a century and a half. Here you can experience and observe artistic precision, to wit, the adjustment of the keys. Then, the first tuning of the instrument by a trained ear.
Intonation, forming of the sound, is the final step. Frank Israel is truly a master of his trade for over 30 years with Furster. He adjusts and matches the 88 levers and hammers and thrusters and the mufflers to perfect harmony. It takes a week until the characteristic Furster sound is achieved. This is the best bass in the world, up to the counterpoint, pleasant, warm, and brilliant. After half a year of manufacture and assembly, such a master grand piano is completed. The smallest grand piano, model 170, ideal for the small concert hall. The 190, an exercise instrument for pianists and music students. The Concert Grand 215. And the largest first or concert grand piano 275, Super Mondial. The famous first or pianos in the following styles. Traditional, Chippendale, Modern, Classic, Exclusive and Elegant, The model 125G, the grand concert piano. The warm tone and the voluminous sound of the first instruments appreciated worldwide by composers, conductors, pianists and vocalists. Giacomo Puccini. It exceeds all my expectations with its lightly flowing sound and softness and power. Johannes Strauss. The world of Chopin achieves true brilliance on the keys of a first or grand piano. Sergei Prokofiev, this grand piano is truly exceptional in its sound. Thanks from the king of operetta, Paul Linke, world famous pianist Aline and Ernest Hack, the chamber vocalist. Star performers of our age, too, value the first instruments. References for a successful combination of form and sound. These as well are part of the Furster family tradition. Friedrich August, founder, continued with son Caesar and his descendants Manfred and Gerhard. Today this manufacturer is led by Wolfgang Furster. He's learned the business here from the Pike. I am now the fourth generation. The fifth generation, also a part of this company, is my daughter Anne. And this here is the sixth generation, grandson Florian August. Lebau in fall mist of the Oberlausitz, filmed from the town landmark, a cast iron tower, unique in Europe. The sound of Furster pianos have given this town recognition all over the world. They come from here, the grand piano and piano builders, with their golden hands, with a tradition of over one and a half centuries. This masterful sound has a first address in the world. Grand piano and piano manufacturer, August Furster. <laughs>